we have a beautiful story of the left eating their own today. Of course, nobody's been worse in the culture wars than Disney, who's been trying to push the LGBTQ agenda on all of us and our children, more specifically, for the last five years. It's been an absolute nightmare. We've seen the fight go down with Florida and all the trans drag queens. Of course, now they're invading the Disney parks with this kind of thing. It's absolutely disgusting, and you can't get away from it. You can't watch any new content without like getting bombarded with this crap all of the time. It's the most obnoxious thing we've ever seen. Well, now Disney's under fire, of course, because they, they did have a diversity hire, and they did, uh, of course, try to make something uh, on that level, and they screwed it up. And so <laughs> fans are outraged. Uh, there's this whole movement going on to try to uh, strong-arm Disney to change their credit role for Star Wars The Bad Batch, and we're going to get into this because I am absolutely amused by it. My name is John Delarose. I'm a number one best-selling science fiction author and award-winning comic creator. If you're interested in something that's kind of like Star Wars or whatnot, uh, I've got comics and novels for you. Those are in my store links in the description below. I recommend checking out uh, Overmind, my, my comic uh, on there. It looks like this uh, for the cover once you get in my web store. And also uh, Justified, uh, the Saga of the Nano Templar, uh, which is on there as well. You can also get on my subscribe star. That keeps the lights on over here. I really appreciate people, of course, who are monthly members uh, and helping us out. You guys are the best. And, of course, uh, we need more. Uh, we, we need to build this movement against Disney and against these people in order to have something that's just, like, safe and fun and good entertainment again. Thanks so much. All right. This is the story of the day from Fandom Pulse, which is my website. Uh, and, of course, I write the news. I don't just talk about it. Woke Star Wars fans outraged about composer Dean Kinner being deadnamed in The Bad Batch. Now, uh, the whole dead name thing, uh, you're wondering who this is and what that means, right, uh, if you're a normal person. Dead naming is uh, when, you, uh, when a trans uh, woman or whatever it is uh, says, uh, you know, what their old name was is their, quote, dead name. Uh, for normal people, that's called their birth name and, you know, something they change their name to on a passport or whatever is not uh, a dead name. It's just your birth name. Um, and so this is something that, uh, you know, when people do change their names, which which happens, doesn't get flipped out about unless it's have to do with this transgender nonsense all the time. This is about, like, manipulating people into going, yeah, sure, a real woman. And I've seen some conservative commentators today actually using this guy's... Uh, <laughs> Uh, woman name and calling him she on there and I'm just sitting there like what are you are, what are conservatives doing at this point but that's another story um, right here uh, the guy goes by the name Deanna now and I've, I've got a picture of him right here uh, this is this is the lovely uh, Deanna uh, leave a comment down below if you would uh, <laughs> and uh, and this is what they're doing, uh, of course, uh, with Disney, is they're trying to hire more of these people all the way around. We, we saw this in, like, Echo, right? Echo's entire deal, like, is, like, the, the, the disabled female, like, who had no prior acting experience was the, was the whole hero. It was kind of weird. And it's all about being indigenous, right? And that's the most important thing. It was all, like, the whole point of it was, like, clapping for their own diversity. And, of course, the fans didn't like the show at all, but that didn't matter to Disney like it never does. Now, The Bad Batch is supposed to be pretty good, but they hired people not only in these, like, front-facing roles, but in the, like, background, you know, they try to, like, have these check boxes for everything. And so they get the trans composer, who, uh, you know, I've heard actually did a pretty good job on The Bad Batch. Uh, so that's, uh, you know, whatever. But uh, Disney, in the credit role, uh, according to this group here, uh, showed this, uh, said Dean Kinner. Now, the dude likes to go by Deanna. And so uh, this Daughters of Ferrix group, flipped out on X about this, and of course it went semi-viral. Here it is. Dead names trans composer Deanna Kinner in the credits. This shouldn't have happened in the first place. It's something that LFL and Disney needs to fix now. Was this done with malice? I thoroughly doubt it, but it's extremely careless, particularly because the previous three episodes as released didn't carry the error. Someone effed up big. They went on to tag Disney and make a ton more posts about it, got the trans community involved in all this, and uh, of course was trying to shame Disney into, of course, changing their credits. Now, uh, probably was just a error by Disney. Unfortunately, I don't think Disney's actually based in this, or that there's anybody working there who's based, who's doing this intentionally, and of course saying, uh, trying to protest this nonsense. That'd be awesome if we could get that kind of revolt going on at Disney. But at the same time, uh, you know, it is happening. It is funny that these people are trying to uh, spread some outrage on the internet over this uh, when they are trying to push this agenda so far on all the normal people. In entertaining stuff. I hope somebody gets canceled. It'll be very funny. 
Leave a comment down below with what you think about this, my friends. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.